an ancient warrior who sealed it in the beginning of East 3. Okay, time to add to this uh, giveaway list these other people who entered. It's up to 14 right now. Who else wants one? Okay. No, I think I got everybody. Hold on, wait. Okay, I think that's 15 people. I think I got everybody. Let's do... Should we do it right now? Okay, it's shower time, then I gotta buy cabbages and edit a video. Grocery store cabbage time. Step one, acquire the cabbage. It's up complete. So, this is the long overdue how to make sauerkraut video. Step one, get some cabbage. Step two, get a crock like this. I will have an Amazon affiliate link that you can buy from to get me money. Step three, cut the cabbage and put in a big bowl. And I mean a really big bowl, you need a huge one. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you do two heads of green cabbage for every one head of red cabbage. And then you add one tablespoon of salt for really big cabbages. So it's one tablespoon per head of cabbage for the big ones. Like for these small little red cabbages, I would only do a little bit above a half tablespoon. But like this big green one, that's a whole tablespoon. You can put the salt in as you go. It'll help draw the juices out while you're cutting. All right, next, you need to knead the cabbage and get it really juicy and draw out all the juices. So you're gonna have to do it like twice. Do it once, let it sit for 30 minutes, come back, do it again. It has to be really juicy though. That's like probably the most important part next to the salt. Okay, this is probably juicy enough. You just need to, there's gotta be juice actually coming out of it when you squeeze it. You pack it all into your crock. So I have to go up in the studio, so we're just gonna let this sit for a bit. I'm gonna come back and juice it up and then we'll put the rest in. But that's the basic process. You juice it up and then you put it in. Then you're done, actually. It is time to go home. It's time to go home! Last set of cabbage. Gotta grind it up and then stick it in. That's what she said. That should be liquid. I did not mash it up enough for the cabbage to get. Basically, you're supposed to keep everything under its own liquid. It shouldn't be dry like that. But I'm too tired to fix it. So maybe I'll fix it tomorrow or maybe I'll just let it rot. <laughs> not the best tutorial you've ever made. Well, 
I kept telling people, I was like, I'll do a proper video eventually, but they keep asking for it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll do a one in the interim since I'm making it. And the key to these Crocs is that they have these little moats of water you put the lid in, and then gas can escape, but oxygen cannot get in. Oxygen must not be present for the fermentation process to take place. Otherwise, it just, like I said earlier, rots, which is why you need the liquid inside there so that inside, all the cabbage is submerged underwater as well so that that pocket of possible air is not there. I'm so tired, I'm going to bed. I don't even have the energy to finish my sentence. <laughs> One more thing before I go to bed. PlayStation giveaway has been postponed to tomorrow morning. Sorry, I've got my retainer in. If you're watching this right now, it's too late. I've already figured out who the winner is. But right now, we've got 15 entries. I think there might be one more. There's a guy who wanted to be in. We have a one in eight chance. Those are good odds. Okay, dope. Good night. I mean, have a good day. Good night for me.